Let's dive right into the latest now on the coronavirus numbers across the country. The virus is now spreading so quickly that public health experts say it's uncontrollable. More than 144,000 people in the U.S. tested positive yesterday, which is a record for just one day. Nearly 1,900 people died, and 65,000 more people are in the hospital this morning. Now, back here in Connecticut, businesses are stepping up their safety procedures in response to our state's high COVID positivity rate. The Walmart on Flatbush Avenue in Hartford was closed yesterday for a cleaning. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Zuzan and joins us now live in Hartford right outside the store with the latest details. So, Roger, when will the store reopen? Yeah, good morning, Nicole. The plan right now is for this Walmart on Flatbush Avenue in Hartford to reopen at 6 a.m. tomorrow. But really, the next 24 hours are going to be pretty important here. I'll step aside here and show you the situation here. This is what shoppers are greeted with right now. You can see caution tape along with a line of shopping carts are blocking the front entrance here. I can tell you just a moment ago, I saw a customer walk up to the caution tape. He was very very confused and you can certainly understand why but company leaders say they don't want anybody to come inside until cleaning crews have had enough time to sweep through the entire store and disinfect the building now a lot of customers at this point are probably curious if this means employees have tested positive but the truth is we don't know the answer to that question because walmart is not commenting about any positive tests but we can tell you that the store was shut down yesterday and will remain of course closed today Walmart tells us this was a voluntary decision tied to their nationwide effort to combat COVID-19. And here in Connecticut, as around the country, the numbers really are troubling. In our state at this point, the coronavirus positivity rate is just under 5%, 4.76. And worst of all, sadly, nine additional deaths have been reported and 36 more people have had to be hospitalized. Now here at the Walmart on Flatbush Avenue in Hartford, company leaders say that along with deep cleaning the entire building, employees will completely restock the entire store before they can reopen tomorrow morning. The company spokesperson stresses this is, again, a completely voluntary decision, but they are following CDC and other government safety guidelines, writing, we will continue working closely with elected and local health officials, adjusting how we serve the community while also keeping the health and safety of our customers and associates in mind. And speaking of Walmart associates, Walmart employees, we have been told by the company that when this Walmart reopens tomorrow, of course, employees will be uh, mandated to wear masks, continue to be mandated to wear gloves and even face shields. We've also been told that they will be screened for possible COVID-19 symptoms and they'll have their temperatures checked before their shifts begin. Reporting live this morning in Hartford, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.